Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally going to bring you an updated guinea pig cage tour for my guinea pigs that are now moved home. So the guinea pigs have been moved home for quite a few months now. This video was, was supposed to be made also quite a few months ago. Um, I am in school and that's been taking up a lot of my time, but today I'm procrastinating making this video for you. A lot of the products in their cage are the same. There's a few updates that I will point out throughout the video and I will link everything that I can in the description box below so you can check it out too. Uh, this video is not sponsored in any way. These are all things that I bought with my own money to better my guinea pigs lives. So let's get into the cage tour. All right, so this is the cage stand that me and my dad built. It's 30 inches tall, six feet long, and two feet wide, so the guinea pigs have about 12 square feet. It should be exactly the same as the cage that we had shown at Tyler's house because we used the same cage. I just um, took one end off the Midwest guinea pig cage and added four grids on the other end and just made it one long cage instead of the L-shaped cage. If you haven't checked out, my previous cage tour while the guinea pigs were at Tyler's house. I'll link it in the card. Okay, so the whole reason me and my dad built this stand is that I wanted to be able to store their stuff underneath. So what I did is um, there's a tension rod attached underneath the this part of the stand. So I got this shower curtain off Amazon. I'll link it down below in the description if you're really interested in it. And I hemmed it to the length of the floor so that I could just easily pull it open. So this is where I store all their stuff to try and keep it out of the way and also hidden while it's in my room. Their vacuums in here, I have a trash can right there. I keep all their place and their towels here. Um, their toys, their food, the play pins that Tyler bought them are in here. This one has all of their place beds and stuff in it. It's just a super easy way to organize all their stuff and keep it out of the way. Um, I got these bins from Target. I'll try and find them and link them if you're interested. So when they lived at my house, I had their cage sitting up on a bunch of wire grids. I just rebuilt those in, back into shelves instead of a cage stand to help add more storage space to this area. These are their name signs. I made these myself. I got these little canvases from Michaels and then I designed their little name thingy in the Cricut Design Space, printed it out on my Cricut and then stuck it on there. And then they're attached to the cage with command strips so that if I ever want to use this basically table for anything else one day, I can just take them off and it shouldn't leave any damage. All right, so here's like a length view of their cage. There's Mindy, here's their castle. If you haven't checked out my castle video, I'll link it up in the corner. Everything that I formally used in their cage also works in this cage. This two by two liner from Guinea Dad, I have to it's a little long for the cage, so I clip it on the side. I did have to redo a lot of the chloroplast, but the main one that I had to redo was the one back there, and it just was like, make another cut and retape it. So all the chloroplast still fit. And I just took off this end little piece from the Midwest cage and then attached the grids here with zip ties to add space and length to the cage. The cage isn't attached to the table in any way. It just sits there, but it's been like that for multiple months and we haven't had any issues with it slipping off because it's specifically designed to fit on this table. I also found when I was cleaning the cage, it's really dark in this corner. So I got these LED lights from Walmart that I just clipped to the edge of the cage and I can use my Google Home to turn them on and off so I can more easily see what I'm doing when I'm trying to clean a cage. A couple new cage additions. I bought this a rack off Etsy. I will also link it down below. Um, the old one that I had, it was blue but the hay kept falling out the back and it was really annoying, so I figured we ought to keep the hay in the cage so I can pick it up more easily. I added the little chloroplast backing there so that it won't fall out the back and then they just sit in here in their litter box and eat. Mindy is the only one that likes to come out during these videos, apparently. The last new cage addition that I have is a metal water bottle. I had two from Pet Smart before, but they kept getting like dirty and kind of nasty looking on the inside. So I got a glass one and it's a little bit easier to clean. And it has the little ducky that floats so I can see where the water level is more easily. All right, the last couple things that are new to their cage. I like to switch out 
what they have in their cage, so like the toys and the Heidi's every once in a while, just to give them a variety of different things to explore every week. So I did get this igloo from our local pet store. Some of the things that I read about them was that they didn't have enough ventilation, so I drilled holes all over in the top and then also in the side to provide ventilation for them. And then last but not least, my awesome mom sewed me some more of these potty pads. And it's been super nice to have a bunch more of these. She bought some of the material that they use in reusable, washable diapers. And then she sandwiched it between some fleece to make these awesome little pee pads. She actually made one, and I'll cut to a clip hopefully, that fits the dimensions of the, the bridge in the castle. So they don't pee on the bridge anymore, which is awesome. Thank you so much for watching this updated cage tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Like this video if you want to see a video of how I clean their cage. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!